So here we are again, it's chart attack time and this week we are looking at the indie chart, our first look in 1988. First of all, thank you very much if you uh, came along to uh, Night Network last Monday for our double session of uh, music from Pop Will Eat Itself and Deacon Blue. It was totally roadblock, sorry if you couldn't get in but we did warn you first come first serve. Anyway, thanks a lot for coming along. More sessions in the next few weeks. Our guests this week are from a band who uh, regularly grace the, uh, the indie chart, the fields of the Nephilim. We've got Carl McCoy and Tony Pettits. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? All right? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, not Good. Bad. And you've you just come back from Spain? Yeah. Was yeah. it? Come back about, um, about a week ago. Just toured out there. Spent about 10, done about 10 dates out there. And... What are they like out there? What's the crowds like? Well, that's pretty small to start with because it's like first time over there. Right. And the record company never got the things uh, oh. quite together. But right. it was okay. Well, chat soon you're off to America soon as well, aren't you? Let's get straight into the chart this week. We have four new entries in the top 20. At 12, it's Renegade Soundwave with Cocaine Sex. Down 2 to 11, it's Mars. They're still pumping up the volume. At 10, it's new entry time for the wooden tops you make me feel. Dropping 3 to 9, it's the Barmy Army with uh, Sharp as a Needle. And at number 8, it's the Jams. Well, last year Whitney joined the jams, and that's the turn of uh, Petula Clark. That video there reminds me of uh, it, uh, as if something's gone wrong at the chemist. They've gone and picked up the wrong film <laughs> because it's got nothing at all <laughs> that's to what do with it. Reminded me of as it's, well. it's, it's a good laugh. That do you like that kind of thing? Does that you know? Did you laugh at that kind of thing, or is it? Well, I can laugh at it. I yeah. mean, the, the guy went along the bridge there. And no, I can I'm laugh at him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and are you? I mean, you had a, vid a video for the last single. Is yeah, that that's something right. you're really going to like push for with uh, with every single release? What is a video? Important? Yeah, it is important for us, like, but I think we'd like more input than what we've had so far. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think money is the object. I think it is like totally having a bit of time to do what you want to do. All right, then. Important to us. Well, at seven this week, it is New Order's Touched by the Hand of God. And at number six, new entry number three on the chart this week, one of two sugar cubes in this week's rundown. Here's the new 45, Cold Sweat, the sugar cubes. Well, if you remember last year, or well, the end of last year, the Sugar Cubes were on, and uh, we were chatting about the fact that, you know, like, do most indie bands want to stay an indie band, or are they looking for that big sign-up? And uh, we've heard that uh, it looks as if Polydor Records have uh, managed to get their signatures on a contract, so uh, no doubt the next few singles will be on, on Polydor. Now, you, so you've been to Spain, and America's the next stop then? That's yeah, the next step for us, yes, yeah, next tour anyway, and after that we come back and do another album. Are you things. known in America? Are you, you know, are records available out well, there? we've just been sort of licensed to RCA in the mm -hmm. States and uh, they started pushing us we started selling records out there so there's like small pockets of interest like in different different areas yeah mm -hmm. we're, so getting our, we're getting our videos played regularly on MTV out there at the moment, oh, well, which that's is a good Good big help. Yeah. Brilliant. All right. Well, this time next week, we'll be hip hopping up the dance chart. So if you're going out and buying a dance record this week, you could help it into our chart next week. Now at five, climbing two, it's Gary Clail and Tackhead. Reality. What about that one then? That's Tackhead in the chart this week on the indie chart. Uh, any, got any favourite videos or albums at the moment you, you sort of like rush out and, and plonk on? Albums. Um... What are you into? What do you get, what do you listen to at home? You know when you get. I, I listen to a lot of older stuff. I like magazine, Joy Division. Mm -hmm. um, those sort of things that I can sort of listen to and not get bored of. Right. All right. Well, we got the top four on the way. What's number one? Two excellent new releases lined up as well. We'll do the business in a couple of minutes right here on Chart Attack on Night Network. Welcome back, this is Chart Attack, the indie chart this week. And uh, once again, thanks for coming up last week for the, uh, the sessions that we recorded. But uh, because it was rather packed last week, what we've decided to do now is if you want to come along to some of our legendary recordings for Night Network, all you've got to do is simply put your name and address on an envelope, send it to Night Network, the usual address. There it is, Night Network Music Sessions. Please put Music Sessions on the envelope or the card. PO Box 90, London SE1, 9PR. And we will invite you to come up to the legendary studios to see it all happen. That's in the future. Right then, here we are at number four. It's our old mate. Pop will eat itself with a, a new entry. There is no love between us anymore. Sugar Cube's birthday, that's holding at three. And Depeche Mode are down to number two. And at number one this week, did you realise that the, the record that's number one is two years old? 
They didn't. Yeah, so they didn't realise. It's, it's, it's the Beatmasters <laughs> and the Cookie Crew. Rock the house. <laughs> Beatmasters and the Cookie Crew, number one indie record this week, literally flying up the network chart as well. That record originally out in 1986. Got some new releases coming out now. Before we do that, Robert Plant is in the house because he will be chatting to Tomo very soon. And uh, he told us just now that he is a big fan of the Fields of Nephilim, which is quite nice. Go <laughs> on the bob. <laughs> really, like, yeah. Is that, is that, is that, that like a nice yeah. thrill, that, when someone yeah, says that? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, we didn't find out until we was just told either, you know. That's good. Never had a bit. Well, actually... yeah, have a chat in a minute. When, when he comes in, while we're having a cup of tea. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, Tent coming yeah, now. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Can you come, Bob? <laughs> no, he's, he's waiting out there. Sorry, from right. half a mile away. I once. can't there find. It. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> can't find out too much about our first offering for new releases. In fact, <laughs> I may need to use the bat phone because here's the fabulously named Bruce Wayne and the Batniks. Look before you leap. Well, what do you reckon of that one? That's uh, one of our first new releases this week. Now, believe it or not, lads, this guy here, the next guy we're going to hear and see, hails from sunny Guildford down in Surrey. And after a few years in California, import coffee, uh, copies of this next record, Turn on the Moon, appeared in London, causing a right old stir. Here's Robe. You've just seen a hit record right here on Charlotte. That's Robe and Turn on the Moon. Thanks to Carl and Tony for popping in tonight. That's fine. Good luck with America, and uh, you'll be doing anything over here soon? Any singles to look out for? About yeah, May time, isn't it? Yeah, about May. We've got an album and a single maybe coming out, and we've got a tour to Brilliant. Follow, uh, well, you know, do English pop in tour. again when you're back. Yeah, love to. And tell us how it all went on. Yeah, thanks okay, not long now till we link up with the cold North Sea to join our pirate MC Derek B on Ensign Radio. But next, come on, here he comes. Come on, it's Tomo talking to Robert Plant. See you tomorrow for video view. <laughs> See you later. Ta -da. It's David Coverdale.